Hush it up. What's going on, everybody? We are back again. Welcome back, RK Rottweilers. Um, I'm going to put this out there now. If it's your first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you came back a few times and you're starting to see things that you really like, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you know that little bit of support, it goes a long way on this platform. It really does. Um, today, not, not really doing anything special with the dogs, but I have a really special person here today. Um, for those of you that have, you know, followed us on Facebook and have kind of, you know, watched us for a while, you guys, you know, you know this person. Uh, for those of you guys that are all new, mainly with this YouTube, because like I said, I started building the whole platform, you know, with the YouTube and everything. So it's a lot of, a lot of new faces here, a lot of new people that haven't really seen or, you know, seen the people or anything else. So today, uh, I got a special little guest. It's the one, it's the only, it's the infamous, the nugget. All right, so I told you guys, I say my nugget every now and then, right? So this is what I'm talking about. This is my baby girl right here, okay? Super awesome. Let me tell you something. This is the youngster of the group. She's number six of six, right? All girls between my wife and I. Yes, feel sorry for me later, okay? We're, we're going to pray today. Um, but this is her, right? I went and got her from the airport the other day, and uh, she's here enjoying the Thanksgiving holiday, so, so we're going to get a couple things done. Um, today... We're really just moving the puppies over to the to the office. They've outgrown the whelping box finally. Uh, they're almost five weeks, which is about normal for when they start doing that. So um, we're going to get them over to the office. So we're going to go in and grab them. But I really just tapped in the record button because my daughter's here and she wants to help. Um, let me tell you guys something, how proud I am of her. You know, she she goes back to even our very first litter that we had. Let me tell you something. This young lady jumped up at, what, 2 in the morning, you know, for the litter. Uh, she went into labor, um, you know, started whelping. Oh, hush it. You know, she got up at 2 in the morning, came downstairs, threw on some rubber gloves and said, let's go. You know, how many young ladies do you know that are going to do that? You know, so, man, I, you know, I, I just I have so much respect for her and what she's done. And she's helped with all the litters that we've had, except for the two recent ones. You know, she's back at home in Colorado going to school and everything, so... You know, we're just getting back into it. So we're going to go get these puppies right now. I'll take you guys with us. Come on. Show you guys the little fat ones, you know. They're hilarious too right now. I'll tell you what. But I'm going to show you this whelping box. And then you guys can understand why. Now, mind you. I literally just cleaned this entire thing yesterday and thoroughly. Like, not just the new new uh, blanket and everything in there but you know i mean everything was done and here's where we're at now let me make sure you got this open jump knuckleheads Ruff. Ruff. but as you can see that's just one night yes so that's why they have to go look at them <laughs> what is that are, are you protecting i can't tell which one is which because you guys are both gigantic little fat ones but uh yeah let's go in and get them over all right miss nugget will you hand me one and then you can grab one and we'll head on over so yeah it's just time time to get them over there this is also about the time that we start introducing um you know their solid food i do not take them off of their mom pretty much until they leave as long as you know mom is willing to let them you know jump on the teats then then i allow them to keep going you know, you start getting later in the weeks and boy, they just start getting mean, aggressive with trying to eat. You know what I mean? And, and ripping on her with those little sharp teeth and everything. So, you know, once mom has just really had enough, then it's time to go, you know, just full fledged, uh, you know, solid. So here's both of them. Look at the babies. Look at the babies. Oh, look at it. Yes. All right. So we're going to get them on over here. Show you guys the setup a little bit. I know you guys have seen it, but it's a lot of new people that haven't. So, I'm gonna catch that door nugget. 
And you guys are more than welcome to call her the same. That's Nugget. So I know people are looking because I've heard comments before. Mr. RK, what's up with the Saints gear? Mm. I'll give you the background on that real quick too. You know, you know, I'm loyal Bronco, head to toe, born and raised. My second favorite team has always been the Saints. Don't ask me why, because back when I was younger, they sucked. But I could never have a second team that was in my own division. You know, the AFC. Hate them all. Hate them all. And then everybody in the NFC that's actually beat us in a Super Bowl. Hate them all. Hate them all. Can't, can't do it. Won't do it. So I kind of always had a lot of love for the Saints. Um, and then, of course, we had the, the Manning connection, you know, which is actually the jersey I'm wearing. That old Archie. So, yeah, I can do that every now and then. And you know what? If it's my new adopted home, I don't want to hear it. Plus, I know my brother's going to watch this video and have a little attitude here. We don't do those uh, gutter birds around here. All right. Got her? Oh. You hear that shot day, right? Nice, relaxing puppy music. All right, so we're going to get them into the box. Not really the box. This is a lot bigger in here. I'm going to put him down, then I'll show you guys. Oh, there you go, Batman. As you can see, lots more room, lots more room. Um, you know, the artificial turf, we can pretty much switch it out. You know, we switch this out every day. With only two, I could probably do it every other day, just depending um, how much they're lighting it up. But as you can see, I keep two of them. So what we do is we just switch the whole cage right on over here. We roll that up, take it out, pressure wash it, get it good to go, mop everything, and, and then there we are. So... Oh, you don't want to put her down, huh? <laughs> she loves these puppies. I dig it. I dig it. All right. We got a couple little toys for them. And then we'll get them some water as well. Here you go, little fat man. I know. You want your sister. I see you. And we'll get your mom up here too, okay? You want to throw her in there and get some water, baby? Her. What you gonna do, bark at me? Oh, I know. You're fine. You're fine. There you go. So, that's it, guys. We just wanted to get them moved over. Um, like I said, I still bring mom up. Let me switch this back around. I still bring mom up here, um, and she sleeps with them at night. I actually also normally bring another one of my um, females up here. All my dogs get along. It's never a problem, never an issue. But we also like to make sure that we have extra security. Eh, it is what it is, right? Some people have nefarious thoughts on their mind. It is what it is. But, yeah, I normally keep a couple up here. Sometimes I just let Ace roam around up here because he's he's so chill with everybody, you know, as far as all the dogs and everything else. I mean, he knows he's he's king. He knows he, he runs, you know, the pack, right? Because they're, they're pack animals, so... He knows that he's the man, so we're normally, look, already, oh my goodness, dropping loads already. Had to bless it, huh? Fun, 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 fun. So, that's all, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to let you guys see my nugget. You know, she's back in town. She's having a great time. She got to meet all the new dogs that we got, you know, just since we've been here. You know, she's been going to school back home, so... Um, she's really excited to meet all the new girls that we got and she's really been been doing great with them. So Tell us about it Arr. You can hear him. So let me let you guys check him out one more time Arr. Get him Get him. Oh, you're stinky too. That little load stunk Yeah, you you stinky No, don't don't tell me about it. You're stinky not me My poop don't stink <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Nugget. Anything else to say? Peace out. Later. Bye. All right, y'all. So like I said before, you guys have a great one. Um, it is the weekend right now. We're about to just, you know, hang back. Got some ribeyes ready to go on the grill. You know, just really excited to have my daughter here with me. 
Um, got another one of my daughters coming out here in a few days. You know, just because we just moved out here, it's kind of hard to get everybody out here. But at some point in time, we're going to have all six of them here with our three three grandchildren. Um, two already on the ground, one on the way. So, yeah, like I said before, I'm an old guy. I'm seasoned. But uh, I ain't that old. Don't get it twisted. So we will talk to you guys soon. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace.